PulseCath IVAC is a precutaneous pulsatile pump used as a short-term mechanical circulatory support. It is intended for patients with impaired left ventricular function, which require left ventricular mechanical circulatory and can provide support for up to 24 hours. The National Heart Institute IJN is the first hospital in Malaysia and Southeast Asia that utilizes this new technology to assist in a procedure required for severe coronary blockages. The first procedure that was done using the PulseCath IVAC is coronary angioplasty on a 42-year-old patient where the patient's heart is severely damaged and needs extra cardiac support. The team at IGN performed precutaneous coronary intervention PCI, a family of minimally invasive procedures used to open clogged coronary arteries with the new device to restore blood flow and improve the heart condition. The pulse cath IVAC gives additional cardiac output and support for the patients during the high-risk procedure. For example, this patient who presented to us with a previous history of heart attack, uh, and he also sustained injury to this heart uh, that causes heart failure. And in this group of patients, when they are going for an intervention, especially multi-vessel intervention, multiple vessel PCI, you know, then they require an additional support uh, to provide a good cardiac output. So the differences that we have performed today is actually putting in a pump that actually to assist this cardiac output, to increase the cardiac output, uh, to ensure that the procedure can be done quite safely. Uh, previously, we have another device that we can use, uh, but the support that, we can, uh, that can be provided with the previous device is not as good as this one. So this actually provides a better support and to give us a bit more time in terms of performing high-risk procedure like this. So here, uh, we are faced with a patient who are at high risk, three blocks, major artery block, as well as poor heart function. So totally, uh, this is a high risk. We offered him surgery, but even so, the risk for surgery was too high. Yeah? So we opted to go for a percutaneous approach, whereby we had a new device, which is the IVAT which is a small pump that we put in the uh, left ventricle and pumps out blood into the aorta along with the heart pump by itself. Yeah? The heart pumps a certain amount and the little uh, pump that we put in offers also some pumping activity so that improves the heart function. While we do that, uh, we had wires and balloons and we managed to open up the 100% blockage in the main artery and uh, at the moment, we are still uh, doing on the right corner artery by Dr. Jaya and the team. With regards to high-risk procedures such as the angiogram, one of the most common risks is bleeding during the procedure, which elongates the duration of the procedure and increases risks. So uh, the issue with this patient was the technicality because his blocks were so bad. Prior to this, we did not have uh, much devices, in Malaysia at least, to be able to support the heart adequately to undergo this procedure. So we took about almost two hours. We had to open up all his arteries. So if we had done this in normal circumstances, there were high chances that patient could not have tolerated the procedure. Meaning the BP could have dropped, you know, he could have become very restless, whatnot, because the procedure is prolonged. Plus there's no support to the heart because his heart is weak. So this new device uh, gives extra support to the heart give some comfort for us to do a complex procedure and you know in his case we had to do quite a lot of work um, for the left coronary artery and also the right coronary artery so uh, with this device it made the procedure that much more comfortable. Previously patients that have severe heart damage can opt to undergo surgery or stick to medications to avoid risk that could transpire from the surgery. However, with the availability of this device, IGN can now offer more patients with severe heart failure that require multivessel PCI to undergo the procedure in a safer environment. With the availability of devices such as PulseCath IVAC in Malaysia, IGN hopes to provide better healthcare opportunities to patients suffering from severe heart damages as they now have the option to undergo a safer procedure. With that, we end today's heart news. I'm Mariam Azmi. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.